Yo, what's going on everybody? Executus here, coming at you with a new series called Pleb to Pro. Today we're focusing on PvP. I have a list of 10 things on the screen that's guaranteed to help you be better in PvP. So let's hop right into this. So the first thing is key bindings. These are very important because you will no longer be clicking your spells in PvP. I can't stress this enough how important key bindings are. You should have every single one of your abilities bound, including your mount, whether it's eating food, your mount, your CC, whatever it is, even abilities you don't use like underwater breathing, you should have bound. Your key bindings should be as comfortable as you can make them. Don't be reaching all the way across your keyboard and looking at your keyboard uh, to cast a spell. It should be, you know, within reach of your left or right hand depending on how you play. For example, you should use key binds like Shift Q, Shift W, Shift E, shift R and like shift 1 through 5 those are keybinds that are very easy to reach with your left hand and that are not awkward at all they're pretty natural on the keyboard other example of keybinds are keys like X C V G and F those are keys you don't use but again they're still easy to get to with your left hand number two we have learning other classes mainly their abilities their play style and the amount of CC and burst they can do it is very important to be able to counter or know how your enemy plays, like how their playstyle is. For instance, a DK generally will uh, death grip you towards them if you're a hunter and you disengage. So to counter that, you might deterrence uh, the death grip and avoid all their damage. Um, and it's great to pop pop defensive um, abilities when a warrior is going is popping all of his cooldowns, like Avatar or Blade Storm or something like that. The best way to learn how other classes play is to either boost one yourself or to look up guides on their damage, their burst, and their defensive cooldowns. You can always ask a friend who has a mage or a paladin and ask them what their weaknesses and their strengths are and when they pop their offensive cooldowns. For number three, we have macros. Now macros are very important because it allows you to put more than one spell on one button. For instance, a warrior can uh, have a macro that's slash charge, slash hamstring, and slash cast heroic throw. The macros are very good for two reasons. One, the best macros of all time are your one-shot macros, which means you pop all of your offensive um, abilities and you combine it into one macro, and you do that. And two, are that your target equals focus macros. Now this is something very advanced, um, and it's for arenas 2v2s or 3v3s. Um, so I'm not going to get into too much detail about that, but it's good to have all your defensive abilities and your offensive abilities bound into one macro or several different macros. Number four, I have knowing your class and your race. It is very important that you know your class to the fullest extent, and the best way to do that is either to play a lot of PvP or to look up guides. When you look up a guide, you might find out something you may have not known. And also could help you in PvP and in choosing the right talents and glyphs, which I'll get to later. Also, what's important with knowing your race is your racials. If you're a night elf, you have shadow meld. If you're a human, you have every man for himself. And if you're undead, you have will the forsaken, etc., etc. These uh, racials are very um, overpowered in PvP because I can shadow meld a chaos bolt and I'll take no damage. Um, and if I'm a human, I have a free PvP trinket. So these are some things to keep in mind when knowing your class and race. Now for number five, we have correct talents and glyphs for certain situations. This is very important because if I'm fighting a warrior or a rogue or um, a healer class, I'm going to take certain talents and glyphs um, for those uh, kind of fights. Like I'd take glyph of spell steal if I was fighting against a priest so I can steal their bubble and their, you know, their hots and stuff. And I would take Glyph of Polymorph if, if I was in a 2v2 arena. So it's very important that you know um, which Glyphs and Talents are best for 2v2s, 3v3s, and 1v1s. And also in a rated battleground. Number 6, we have add-ons. Now add-ons are very important because they track enemies, the enemy's cooldowns. For instance, a kick or um, a counter spell or a PvP trinket. There are add-ons that track that as well as defensive and offensive cooldowns um, depending on what add-ons you get. 
Now, some of the add-ons I like to use, I have Omni Bar, which basically is a bar that shows the enemy's CC on there. I have Recount, which is uh, tracks my DPS or heals per second or whatever it is. I have Rogue Power Bars that tracks my Faint, my Slice and Dice. I have Tidy Plates, it changes up the name plates a little bit. Um, I have Quartz 3, it's basically a, an enhanced casting bar. And I have a few other things. But the most important add-on for arenas is, is Gladiator Losa um, and also Gladius. Those are two awesome um, add-ons that you need. But it's very important to have some of these add-ons to help you during battle so you can track if the enemy has a cooldown up or if the enemy has a trinket or an ability. Number seven, we have Mouse. Now, my preferred mouse of choice is the Razor Naga, of course, because you have that 12 extra and programmable buttons on the side of your mouse. And this makes it a lot easier to do your shift 1 through 12s um, because you don't have to move your index or middle finger up on your keyboard. You can just use the thumb, and it's right there for perfect placement. Number 8, we have stat priority and enchants, mainly gear. Stat priority is very... Uh, important because depending on your class uh, it requires you to have more in one stat than it does in another for example arms warriors love to stack critical strike and mastery because mastery increases uh, their damage done by their colossus smash and their mortal strike uh, and for instance a healer likes to stack haste versatility and um, spirit because spirit increases the amount of healing they do they do and versatility decreases the amount of damage taken. So it's very uh, important to look up in guides um, your stat priority and enchants. If you're ever unsure of the correct enchants or stat priority you need in your class, just type in 3v3 in Google and go to battle.net and then you'll find the top rated, highest rated um, arena players uh, in the world. So you'll find uh, and pick your class. So if you're a, a frost mage or a a resto druid pick your class and then hover over and you can see that she has enchanted 75 haste on the neck probably 75 haste on the rings and the cloak and depending on your class uh, the enchants and stat priority will be different like this person stacks uh, mastery and uh, looks like multi strike and has enchants in haste now for number nine I have guides. It is very important that you find a current and updated guide. If you find a guide that's like six months old or four months old, it's not gonna be as relevant as guides that have been made within the past week or even the past month. I found myself um, looking up a guide for a holy pally that was made three months ago and then I found a guide that was made two weeks ago and they're completely different and the one that was current was way better than the old one. And especially because as, you know, the expansion continues, um, people find uh, certain glyphs and talents are better than others, and this and that's OP. So it's best to find a current and updated guide made by a well-known YouTuber. And last, we have number 10, type of PvP. Now, if you want to get good at PvP, you need to focus on mainly one type of PvP. Twos threes rated battlegrounds or world pvp there's even fives uh, it's important that you know how to play a 2v2 or a 3v3 arena match um, because they're completely different it's very it's kind of similar but at the same time it's not because in twos you, you have just you and a healer or a dp2 double dps whatever it is but they're both different styles of play and they're not similar um, to in styles of play because you have only two macros for your party and in threes you have three macros for your party and also your your talents and glyphs are going to be a lot different um, in twos and threes and especially in rated battlegrounds I run different completely different set of talents for my uh, 2v2 comp than I do for my rated battleground comp so pick a type of pvp and stick with that and especially if you're going with world pvp make sure you have those op world pvp items there's some that heal you full there's some that make you fly there's some that shoot you in a cannon but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this pleb to pro that's a new series i'm making so please show your support by clicking the like button and sharing it around uh subscribe to me i make guides and montages 
Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I appreciate all you guys' support and watching this video this long. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.